Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, the booming demand for carpenters and what it means if your company is thinking about building something this year. Plus, the Scott Energy Institute at Carnegie Mellon University is putting our region on the global map when it comes to thought leadership around the future of energy. We'll find out what's on the horizon. But first, uh, another tech-based opportunity in our region, a radiation detection company called Chromet is deepening its roots here and doing some hiring. The company's headquartered in the UK, but it's made Saxonburg in Butler County, Pennsylvania, its USA headquarters and operations center. Barry Bumer is Group Chief Operating Officer and General Manager of Chromec USA. And welcome, good to have you here. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, good to I, be here. Yeah, and I guess welcome to our region as well. You're a relatively recent transplant. Uh, and I'm enjoying it very much. It's a beautiful area, uh, and uh, I come from upstate New York, and, and prior to that, uh, spent time in Colorado and in Europe, in fact, was born and raised there. But this is a beautiful area. Very happy to be in western Pennsylvania and uh, uh, very much looking forward to continue to make it my home. Yeah, well, that's great. Good to hear you like it so far. Obviously new to Chromec as well. You were recruited for the job, so somebody calls and says, you're interested in this company. First off, what is Chromec all about and what attracted you enough to say, hey, I'd like to be involved in running it? Well, like you said, Bell, Chromec is, um, is a UK headquartered company, but most of our operations uh, are here, in fact, in the US and in the greater Pittsburgh area. Chromec is a technology company. It's a radiation detection company at its core. Uh, and for Chromec, that means we focus on three areas. We focus on medical imaging, we focus on security applications, mm -hmm. and we focus on uh, nuclear applications for de detecting nuclear radiation. So in those three areas, the company is uh, really out front in developing new technologies. Uh, on the one hand, as an OEM supplier, where we provide the mission critical components for other systems companies. Uh, in other cases, we provide uh, the total system uh, that can detect radiation and provide results and, and output to the user and uh, critical information for uh, a number of different applications. So there might be these companies that manufacture the big CT scan systems and you would have a component within a CT, can, a C, CT system? Is yeah, exactly it? right. CT scanners or CAT scanners sometimes they're referred to. Uh, the conventional technology, as you uh, uh, can imagine, provides images often just in shades of gray. Mm -hmm. You get black and white and, and shades of gray information. Still very important information for the physician However, uh, it doesn't provide as much detail as you could provide. What Chromec does is provide essentially these CT scanners uh, the, the capability of off, uh, offering imaging in color. Wow. And, and you can imagine that for a physician that provides better resolution, it provides uh, uh, better information, uh, and here is uh, the, the important part, or one of the important parts, reduced radiation exposure to the patient. Wow. And, and uh, today that is a very important requirement. Radiation is, uh, is a concern for patients. The less you can expose the patient to radiation, uh, the better. So dose reduction is important. So with this new technology, and Chromec has been at the forefront of that, and very much in Saxonburg, huh. uh, we make the core technology, uh, which is a uh, refer to as CZT or cadmium zinc telluride uh, detector modules that go into systems like CT uh, systems. Yeah, it was, it was the next question I was going to ask you. So what exactly goes on in Saxonburg related to all of this? You're actually doing the manufacturing up there as well as the we engineering do. We, and R&D? Yes, yeah. we, we in fact do. We, we do the development there, so we have both uh, uh, physicists and, and the engineering capability to develop the components and systems uh, that the medical industry requires. We also do the manufacturing there. Uh, and uh, so the crystals are grown there, the detector modules are put together, and the total integrated solution is offered all from Saxonburg. That's crazy. And I, it was hard for you to bring a CT scanner in here because they're kind of big. But yeah. I understand you did bring one example of a device that uh, uh, you yeah, all the, on. Uh, yeah, this is actually. Uh, this is an example of, uh, of a total system that the company uh, offers. This is 
um, a system that we call it the D3S. It was developed in um, collaboration with and by support of DARPA. Mm -hmm. And DARPA is the uh, Defense Agency Research Program Agency under DOD. Uh, and it will fund new technology that it is that, that it considers critical for uh, homeland security, for instance. Sure. This particular detector uh, in quantity goes for $400 and can detect uh, radiation from, for instance, uh, dirty bombs. So okay. if you can imagine that every policeman and every uh, first responder, even every male uh, woman or uh, man would carry such a device. Essentially, since these detectors are networked, you can, through your smartphone, essentially pipe in all the information real time to a central network and analyze, essentially as a heat map, as a radiation heat map, constantly monitor all of the United States, essentially, hmm. for the presence of things like radioactive materials and, and the materials that could go into a, uh, a dirty bomb. Wow, so it could be apart from if an explosion goes off, this would be a preventive. If everybody's got these devices, they might have a sense of, is there radioactive material present? Exactly right. Wow. And, and you can imagine the technology from, from yesterday, before Chroma came out with this, would be the size of a shoebox and would cost $10,000. Hmm. Not practical enough to, uh, to yeah, to for for some person to carry around and and really uh, do the work that they need to do. Uh, one of the challenges for for Chromic has been to drive miniaturization of this technology to the point where it's essentially the size of your smartphone at a price point, so that every first responder or uh, male person or or police. Uh, uh, person can carry this. Practical to push it out there. Only a few seconds left, but I know this is exciting stuff. I'm sure there are engineers and scientists in school or otherwise in our region who might be interested in helping do this kind of work. Are you hiring? I mean, you're looking for people here in our region? Uh, Bill, right what, a, what a great point. We're very much interested. Uh, we're, we're looking for talent. Uh, our company is growing and growing rapidly, including in Saxonburg. Uh, we're looking for uh, uh, for talent in, uh, in engineering. We're looking for talent physicists. Uh, we're looking for talent on the production floor. Uh, even on the commercial side of our business, we're looking to expand. So yes, if you're interested uh, uh, and you're out there listening to this, we'd very much like to encourage people to, uh, to seek us out. Uh, I think we may be the employer for you. Very good. It's Chromec USA, Barry Buehler. Thank you so much. Really exciting stuff. Great to see it happening here in our region. Thanks very much, Bill. And next up, how Pittsburgh's own Carnegie Mellon University is bringing a cross-cutting approach to solving the big energy challenges of the future. Stay with us.